Welcome to TechPress, your digital guide to all the things tech and business. Today we're diving into the world of email marketing, specifically speaking for Shopify store owners. So what you want to know how to harness the power of email to boost your sales, you're in the right place when you're getting started. Now, email marketing remains a powerful tool to e-commerce businesses offering a direct line to your customers. For this tutorial, what you want to be doing here is to add an application into your Shopify store so you can track out the best application for the email marketing. And this one so far is called the actual uh, MailChimp. Now MailChimp is going to be helping you to boost all of this information. So what I wanted to do here is to look out for the statistics showing into the email marketing. I wanted to have the highlight personalization, the cost effectiveness. So you're going to hit into install the application of the actual MailChimp. Hit into install your actual application and you're actually good to go. Directly to add applications into your Shopify is going to be much more easier since you're already just sign it in so you connect your account directly into mailchimp and you're good to go so let's go here to create your account so this is the very first time i'm in here so here's my custom e username organization name the country all of this information is going to get started i hit into the review my sync settings so my context, my tax, my data fields, my default settings, all of this should be imported into MailChimp. This is gonna be doing the work much more faster. So I can continue now into MailChimp. It's gonna be popping up this new section of the username. So I'm gonna just sign with my actual account. And here I do have the actual passcode. So building your email list. Growing your email list is the first step. Use the sign up, incentive pop-ups, and checkout prompts. So here's an actual example here, what you can do here into MailChimp. Let's say for example, that people are willing to buy your products into your Shopify. So once you have the actual product there, you might see they have the actual order, the name, the email, all of that. So you can add this manually inside your actual MailChimp. And to do that, I'm gonna go here into the audience and you can see they're gonna hit into add my contact. So let's say for example, we're gonna add my very first contact by import from another service, upload a file or to copy and paste new contact from a spreadsheet or a similar list. So the segmentation is gonna be helping you to lead to more personalized and effective campaigns. For example, when somebody purchases a product, let, let's say that I wanted to offer them a discount for the next product, or if I have an abandoned card, what I can do is to send an actual email with a discount so I'm willing to offer let's say our very first sale so I'm gonna go here and see my campaigns I have the all campaign manager and I can create a new campaign for example an automation and for example here I have some pre-built journeys for example recover the abandoned calls the thing that we just talked about before now they can continue shopping after they see this of course so I'm gonna just go back check out the preview and how it's going to be looking by sale, for example. This is just an example of how it's going to be looking. So people now are going to be like, oh, I got now the code of the 10%. This account, I'm going to try to do this directly into their actual account, into their actual online store. This is a really great segmentation. And it's going to be sending us into the crafting, engaging email content. So your email should capture uh, and so your emails should captivate your audience, focus on compelling subject lines, engaging copy and attractive visuals. So it's not only about offering emails uh, this count, but what you can do is to incentivize to add, for example, on a specific block, for example. Let's say that uh, in this store, since I am selling some Christmas home decals, what it can do is to bring value directly into my emails. So then what people can do is to notice that we are actually giving them value. So for example, let's say that I do have an actual blog of home decor ideas. I can use this actual blog to send this directly into an actual email. So I'm gonna go here and to, let's say create, I'm going to send these guys into my blog. So once again, what you wanted to do is to go into this actual section of the pages, the home decor ideas. And at the end of this actual um, URL, I'm going to go into save and exit. You can go here into the preview. After the end, after I sent these guys, after I bring them value, at the end of it, they do have the shop our decors. So I open this and they have the new products. 
and boom this is how you can get started to incentivize people to uh, with the crafting engaging email content now automation and drip campaigns can helping you to uh, efficiency welcome emails it binary card reminders and post purchase follow-ups can be automated as we just did before we can do welcome emails for example the process is exactly the same you don't need to know absolutely anything about automation because all of this is being crafted by the actual mailchimp automatically so you can look out for some popular pre-built journeys uh, for example, welcome new contact, email target customers, create repeat customers, recover lost customers, celebrate customers' birthday, and much more. So pre-built journeys of these automations can be helping you to make some really great campaigns. Now, analyzing email campaigns performance, you can track your campaign success with key measurings like open rates, click-through rates, the conversions, all of this directly into the analytics section of your MailChimp. So you can check it out the order rate, the orders, the average performance here, the revenue, how much money you have made so far. You can track a few conversions, how many people opened your emails, how many clicked on them, how many orders you have made with the actual email that you have sent, the emails by sent days, how you can, um, how you've done so far. You can change from the last uh, 30 days to seven days and you can see the revenues and all of that so this is a really great tool for the email dashboarding and lastly we have the staying ahead of email marketing trends now email marketing is constantly evolving guys stay updated with the latest trends like interactive emails artificial intelligence driven personalization and mobile optimization now innovating email marketing techniques can be helping you to have the best resource for keeping up with the actual trends and the best thing that the MailChimp application has is that they actually have really great templates where you can get started to, let's say, focus into the actual trending. So if you go with the regular email, landing page, automation, you might be having the actual templates that are updated monthly inside their um, section. For example, here you can see the grow your list, the lead generator, the lead generator as well. It's actually working really great for people who are just getting started and they don't freaking know anything about how to get started with the email marketing campaigns. So to summarize all of those key points, you can see that the MailChimp is a really great application. You can find out more applications into apps and here you wanted to look out for your uh, product uh, keyword researcher, in this case, e email uh, marketing. And if you don't want to work with the MailChimp, you have so much more than that. So depending on what you're actually trying to look for, it's going to be showing you uh, more and more applications. You have the free bosons, there's a paid bosons, and much more of that. So um, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Uh, keep hosing the boundaries of your Shopify store. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more great tools at your Shopify for email campaigns, email marketing, and so much more. Thank you once again, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.